So, my thoughts on Season 1 so far. I've got a couple of talking points that I want to talk about and I'm just going to go through them in order. And the first one that I want to talk about is about the bonus you get when you queue up with party members. And my reason being is that I don't really understand why they've made it so you get an extra bonus just for queuing with one or two extra people. Sometimes I just like playing solo for a bit of practice and sometimes I do it when I need to get footage like this so that it's nice and quiet and there's no talking over the top of me. And overall I'm sure a lot of people like playing solo just for their own different reasons. I'd say about 50% of the time I play solo, 50% of the time I play with a full group. Early on the boost that it gives you isn't very big, however the more level ups you get in the battle pass the more bonus you're actually missing out on if you don't play with anyone else. And to be honest I don't really see why they've done it that way, I don't know why they would penalise people for playing on their own and lose out on a bonus, but I hope that next time they don't do that because obviously not everyone will play with a full squad and playing with a full squad just for the sake of a bonus seems a bit odd. My second talking point is a small one really and that is that the bonus XP per legend up to 25,000 a week should be that it's not per legend it's just whoever you want to play and the reason why I say that is because not everyone wants to play Gibraltar and Caustic I kind of had to force myself to do it and I got quite a lot of people being annoyed that I picked him just because it was Gibraltar and everyone associates him with being easy to kill. Plus on top of that I'm sure that quite a lot of people have left games because someone's taken the person they wanted to play because they wanted the bonus XP. So hopefully in the next season that changes because that's again something that could be more of a detriment to the game than a help. Their main focus point on that was to make people play people they don't usually play and in my opinion most people who wanted to play different people would have already done so. My third talking point is something that I've mentioned previously but I just want to mention it again. And that is every so often during the battle pass you will get a level up for your level icon for that season and you get nothing else but that for the level which seems a bit weird you should get something else for it in my opinion but even if it's just a couple of crafting materials or an apex pack just something to sweeten the deal and make it feel like you don't just get another icon and the last thing that i want to talk about really is they have added in trackers for kills and wins on each legend these will track your kills and wins throughout season one and for people like myself and many others like me who don't just play one legend it makes it really pointless to have those on our characters because most of the time it will only show about one tenth of our actual wins and kills. And my main hope is that they do a total wins and total kills overall that you can add as a stat tracker as well. For example, before season 1 actually came out I had about 600 kills on Mirage and at least two or 300 on everyone else. Now if I get about the same as that throughout the entire season 1, that's not too bad. But compared to people who only play one legend, it'll look terrible. Whereas if I have a total wins and total kill stat for the season 1, I'll still look the same. And the counter argument to that is that I don't actually need to show it off. Which is true, I don't. But people who only main one legend will do, so I should be able to as well, right? But as always, these are just my opinions. You probably have your own. If you do, please let me know in the comments. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, then give it a dislike. And if you really like me, you can give me a subscribe. And as always, my Twitter and Twitch link will be in the description below. And I hope to see you here for the next video.